welcome back to my humble neck of the YouTube woods. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, there's a lot of forced going on here at the moment. Uh, on screen you should be able to see uh, footage of Streets of Rage 4. I am attempting um, the Streets of Rage 4 high score challenge set by officially captured the man himself. Um, but I've never tried to use a mic. I'm using this cheap little mic that plugs into the joypad. I tried to use it uh, to speak while I was actually playing, but I quickly found out that multitasking was not my strong point, and the audio was coming across really low as well. So I'm trying to use Share Factory. And I can see what's happening on the screen in front of me, but there's no audio, no Streets of Rage music or anything. Uh, but hopefully you guys can hear that, you know? I, I was tempted to set it to the, to the retro music, but I said I'd leave it to the, to the current uh, Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack, you know? So the rules of this challenge is play Streets of Rage 4 on hard mode and one life so as soon as you die once wherever that may be uh, that's the challenge over and it's a high score challenge as mentioned um, this is the first attempt that I made at it uh, I did try twice after this but this ended up uh, having a higher score um, and I just kinda liked the rustiness of it uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of brawling my way through everything and, and getting hit when I really shouldn't. <laughs> there you go, a nice slide. Um, so I watched John Bundy. Uh, I, I believe he's the, the only one who's actually uh, uploaded a video on the challenge uh, so far. Um, and thank God I did because it reminded me of, of just the basics, you know. He was just telling me, hold on to your stars um, if you don't have to use them because you, you get a, extra points on that and whatnot. Um, and his run was was quite impressive uh, in the sense of he was able to keep all the um, the combos together. And I believe he finished four levels uh, in and around and he got S ranks on all of them, um, which I always struggled to do. I had actually forgotten through most of this gameplay um, that if somebody hits you like say you have a 30 hit combo and then one of the enemies actually smacks you I forgot that that actually takes away all of the um, <laughs> the points that you're about to get um, so yeah if, if you're attempting this challenge uh, combos are key I think you know for example, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to outscore John Bundy um, if I played as far as he did because he, he was just getting higher ranks and better scores because he was much better at um, getting the combos up. Uh, I knew my only chance and uh, I kind of used John's run as just something to, to go by so I wanted to beat his score if, if possible. But I knew in order to do that, I would have him to get past where he was and hope uh, I could accumulate enough points to, to outscore um, where he got. So I believe he got to oh, the, the, the new policewoman's uh, boss, boss battle, Estelle, I want to say, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I was really hoping that I would get past her. And the boss battles were really interesting because I, I'd forgotten all of their moves. <laughs> I was basically just, uh, me, me tactics going into this was play it safe and survive as long as possible. And, and you'll see that, you know, I don't, I'm quite sloppy with keeping the combos going. It, it didn't help that I, I genuinely forgot that if somebody slaps you in the face and you have a 25 hit combo or a 37 hit combo that you don't get the points 
Um, but I remember that a little bit later on, and I played a safe then. I, if I was on a, a 20 or 40 foot combo, I'd try to make sure I didn't get a slap in the face. Uh, but the problem was that the enemies were a little bit more difficult on those levels, you know? So, if I was to... I was tempted maybe to do a few more tries, um, you know, trying to take advantage of the, the earlier levels uh, and get as, get as much combo streaks as you could on the, the easier enemies. But I just kind of liked how this run worked out overall. I just like the fact that, you know, I don't usually play with Axel, so I was rusty on that front anyway, as I take a, a kick to the ass. Um, but I just kind of liked that I was winging it, it's a, there's, there's no polish or uh, much skill going on, I'm just trying to muddle my way uh, through the levels, and some of the boss fights was, was quite funny because as I said, I completely forgot uh, what they could do, and it made for some some interesting brawls, you know. So yeah, if any of you get a chance, you should really give um, officially captured. I will link his his channel in the description, and it will also be in the the title of this uh, because I have to tag him so. He knows that this is my entry uh, into the challenge, you know? You should definitely check him out. He, he's a good lad. Um, and this is quite a fun challenge, so... It's his last challenge he's going to be doing for a while. He's going to take a bit of a break from uh, from YouTube. Uh, for our unspecified time. Um, but hopefully he, he'll be back and, and more interesting challenges will, uh, will come our way soonish, you know? Oh, coming up to the fourth boss now, eh? Diva. Now, as you can see, I'm just I'm just trying to rush her. <laughs> oh. John had uh, John Bundy had told me that um, you know he plays a safe on the on the bosses where he he keep the health items there just in case things get a bit sticky. Yeah, so you can see that I, I went for the same strategy pretty much. Um, I wasn't aware even that if you have full health and you eat a large health item you'll get like a thousand points to your score. Uh, and I think if you eat an apple or a small health item you get 300 points to your score. Um, so if you were considering taking the challenge that little bit more serious, it would be good just to kind of make note of these little things. But I really do feel that, you know, the combo is key basically, and make sure that when your combo is coming to an end, somebody doesn't break it on you. So even if you're just, if you just have consistently 20 or 40 or 40 hit combos, uh, make sure that you're actually getting the, the bonus points for them and that they're not ruined because that happened a lot in uh, in this run. And there we go! Diva stabbed to bits. <laughs> and I wasn't on an awful lot of health myself, so it was a it was a close brawl in the end, you know? A rank. So as mentioned, I, I knew I wouldn't be able to get the S's uh, like Sir John Bundy did. The Police Precinct, level 2. Although I did play uh, Streets of Rage 4 last year, just before Christmas. Um, I usually play it on normal or easy and just done a little bit of co-op with uh, some friends and family so very very casual you know I think you'll see I unlock a few 
characters uh, for that nice little feature they have where your lifetime uh, score unlocks new characters and different things as you progress. Overall, I really enjoyed this game. I think it's a just really apt love letter yeah, to the old school games of the same name and beyond. Yeah, and a lot of fun. Yeah, the difficulty, I think, is, is quite spot on. You know, um, I like this hit, the focus on the hit combo stuff, which I 59 hits. That's that's very good for me, because the vast majority of the time they get broken. <laughs> but yeah, I like that that's in there for the better players, the, the more serious players. Because um, I, I haven't watched uh, too much of gameplay of, of, the, of the really good players, but yeah, some of it really look impressive, you know? I accidentally used me defense move there. Uh, I think it's the only time in the video. Uh, that's the that's a new feature as well in Streets of Rage 4, where you can um, you use your defense move, and I think uh, it buffers you so your streak doesn't get broken if you time it right. But it takes away your health, and your bar goes green. Oh, there we go, a retro boss. Stabbed to bits already. Stabby Jack. Really like this feature as well. If you use the um, taser on the arcade machines, um, it'll bring you to a retro boss from the previous games, which is a, a sweet touch. But yeah, for, for the really good players, they can keep the combo going for, for so long, you know, just juggling all of the enemies and you just have everything uh, so well timed, you know. I suppose familiarity breeds comfort in a, in a game like this, the, the, the more you play the, um, the levels, you will just know where the enemies are coming from and what to expect. And I, I do feel like that's half the battle, you know. But yeah, kudos to them, because takes time and effort and energy to to get that proficient at the game, you know? Murphy. Ooh. I think I remember seeing something that this character Murphy that it's a reference to Robocop. And he's down. 55 hits, not too shabby. They're going crazy with the with the baton. Checking out it's a. Uh, I'm gonna lose that that streak. I bet you watch. And it is the first time rewatching this now, so please don't lose the streak of, of 74 hits. Don't. <laughs> Getting nervous now. What am I? Oh, I got it. Even though I was running uh, headstrong into into this guy, I probably would have lost it. You know. Relatively short level this, I think. Uh, the commissioner's office isn't too far away from this spot. That was me just being a bit greedy. I can, I can usually handle those shield guys uh, fairly well. I just, when I see him lift his arm, I'll punch two or three times and then move away and go back and punch two or three times, you know? As you see there, you know. I remembered his move set. But some of the later enemies they, they made an absolute mess of me, you know, because I completely forgot their uh, their style and tactics. There we go, that was a thousand points for that um for the fruity full health uh, pickup. Uh, because I had full health when I got it, you know. The 
go, commissioners. That's his door right there. Deal with a few of his underlings and we should be in for boss number two. Nice. And a star. There's a nice bonus into the star's office. Go in to see Police Chief Irons. Oh, that's not Irons. Different game. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just trying to power through. Just, just going blow for blow, toe to toe. You know, uh, not very smart. And then that gets me in trouble with the um, with the later bosses, definitely. I'd, e I'd even forgotten that when they do knock you down, you press X um, and you can land on your feet. There, I did it there. But it took me a while to remember that, I was so rusty, you know? Yep. I think he gets me a good few times with that grab and just bounces me around the place. And Surprised, I survived. But if you haven't checked this game out, I, I do recommend it. Uh, it's, it's relatively short as well. I think you can, you can beat it in an hour, an hour and a half, uh, maybe two. Yeah, on the easier difficulties, you'll absolutely fly through it, you know. But it's a lot of fun. Particularly if you you want a, a throwback to those old school beat em ups. Yeah. Finish them off with his own golf club. Poetic. Get an Andrew Ryan kind of vibes from this now. Bit of Bioshock. A man chooses a slave obey. A rank again, so uh, Streets of Rage 3 Belay is unlocked. Nice. I think there's a couple of trophies, um, you know, silver trophies if you beat the game with a Streets of Rage 1 character, a Streets of Rage 2 character, and 3 character, and so on, and I, I haven't done them as of yet. Um, I definitely will. I won't go for the platinum. Um, I had a look at the, the requirements and I'm very casual at this type of game and I just think it would, would be too either too much of a grind or you know I just wouldn't be able to do it really. You have to get an S rank on every level uh, on hard and you know string together a massive combo and do a few bits and bobs on mania mode. That unlocks after you beat the game on hard. Um, never say never, I might. Um, this little challenge has kind of sparked me. Um, am I gonna lose this combo? I wonder. Sparked a little bit of interest in it. Uh, it's such a good casual game to come back to because it's, it's so short, you know, you can just do a level or two and, and quit back to it at your leisure, you know? But at the moment, I am... I think I will just unlock those silver trophies for beating the game uh, with every character and one from each previous retro title um, and then I think I'll be happy on the trophy front about 70% or something and I'll be happy to walk away with that, you know? I'll still definitely play the game now, um, particularly with if there's any friends or family around to do some nice couch co-op. Big Ben is down. He 
you may have noticed in the, uh, the first level I underestimated the power of um, of Donovan um, with weapons. Like he hockeyed me out of it a good bit in the first level. Yeah, so I remember that as it went on that you know, take Donovan's out if you have any <laughs> if you have any weapons, you know. Also, like those guys with the hands in their pockets there, they have, if you, if you do a jumping attack, they can kind of put you in your place. Donovan has a cheeky uppercut that if you jump, and you can catch it with that really quickly, you know. So beware. Even though most likely you've already known that know this guys, and um, as I said, I'm very casual, so just kind of waffling away to myself. Health items, money, next spot. Boss number three. Naughty Nora. I don't know what I was thinking there jumping into that spike wall. <laughs> I knew you could you could uh, knock enemies off it. Um, so I'm not sure Axel feeling a bit kinky there. I can't quite remember but I think there's a small bronze trophy that I got a while back that involves you um, picking up our wine bottle there and bashing over it. This is one of the very few times where being aggressive on the boss uh, pretty much pays off for me. Because um, I don't think this lass has anything to kind of keep you away. Our, our main trick is giving a kinky whip um, to one of the Galsias. And then he gets lots of extra A's on his name and he basically can't be knocked off his feet. Which makes him quite annoying. didn't realise when I was playing that they actually stopped coming after a while. No pun intended. It's just me and Horror now, I think I just uh, take my time because I know we're out our, our buddies. She's not much of a challenge. I'm trying to smash her off with the, the ground up her. Nice. Will I get the elusive S rank this time? Give me one, lads. Come on. No. A seems to be the the best I could manage on um, on my return. Forgive me um, for skipping the cutscenes because they are pretty cool. Um, I actually have on the channel. I think I uploaded the whole. Uh, the story, just cutscene wise, sometime last year. But it's just, I was a bit worried with how long the, the video might go on for. Um, I s seem to remember on Share Factory once upon a time that you could only upload um, like 30 minutes onto YouTube or something like that. I, I, I think it's changed now, hopefully, anyway. I'll know by the time this is uploaded. But, um. Yeah, I, I remember that. I mess up, I cock up a little bit further on in regards to. I'm gonna get hit. Ruin this streak. Oh, got lucky. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, guys. Um, yeah, I messed up and at some stage I wanted to check how long it was recording for because uh, on the PlayStation 4 you can only record for an hour and it stops. So I got a little bit worried, I lost track of time. 
So I paused the game, basically, and checked the time. And I think it was about 40 minutes in. And basically I messed up because I went to the letters, the, the toilet, um, came back and started playing without actually pressing, pressing record again. So by the time I realised this I was oh, maybe a minute or two up the road uh, from, from where I'd stopped the game. So I just started recording from that spot. Um, and if uh, officially captured wants to just stop it stop it where my score is there you know just to ensure because this is all up until that point it's just all one little bit of gameplay um, you know that's fine that's fine by me and um, but I just continued on until I died uh, I just lost that two or three minutes of footage because I forgot to uh, click record again unfortunately ah these things happen all a bit of fun anyway I think it was a bit overwhelmed with these guys, got a little bit worried um, so I tried to stay away from them and let them fight themselves a little bit, you know nice feature that, that the the ganglanders will uh, clash with the police and so on gives you a bit of a breather, you know I wasn't sure if I'd actually beat this guy. Um, I, I would have hesitated, but in John Bundy's video, he mentioned that if they beat you in, in this little realm, in this little retro realm, it doesn't actually take a life from you. Uh, you just appear outside again. Uh, so I don't think this would count if I died. I probably did. I can't remember if I beat him. Close battle. <laughs> Hopefully I beat him. Hooray. But I think even if he had have killed me, I, I don't think that would have counted as the life gone. Uh, maybe um, officially captured can elaborate on that one. But it doesn't actually take a life from you in game anyway. It just kicks you back out again, kind of, full health. Boy signal. Love these um, classic names. Lots of nostalgia. With a few new faces in the mix, of course. Yeah, I was impressed with the variety of enemies and the the fighting styles and the weapons and. I wonder how long it'll take until Street Rage 5 comes out. <laughs> if there even will be one. But, um. Yeah. Really enjoyed this title overall. Still cheesy and fun and. Oh, Estelle. Estelle. So, this is where John Bundy met his, his demise, I believe. And he was, he was very unfortunate, he was just using his um, special abilities and uh, the rockets that she calls in from the from Streets of Rage 1, the, or Streets of Rage 1, the, the ability to summon the... Which is what she's doing right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's not as nice when you're on the receiving end of this uh, special ability. But he was unfortunate, I believe he was finishing a special attack on her. Um, 
and the rocket just hit him and finished him off. There you go. So I panicked there and used a special ability. I try to hold on to the stars if possible, but if I'm in trouble, I've, I've no hesitation to use it, you know, kind of survival mode. And this fight went um, surprisingly better than I expected. Dell is down. Now, if John had have beat that level, he probably would have added to his, his S rank. Will I? No, definitely not. A B. <laughs> so yeah, again, skipping cutscenes just because... Uh, I was afraid of of time if it would affect the video and whatnot. And I have to say, I completely forgot about this level when I was coming in. I was like, oh, oh, don't like the look of that um, toxic waste on the floor. phone home. At the very beginning I'd forgotten um, even how to throw the feckin' weapons, so I just kept pressing a uh, circle and dropping it. Uh, you have to obviously have to hold in the direction you want to throw it and press circle. Um, but there was a spell where I just kept picking them up and dropping them, you know? At this point, I was thinking I may have been pre premature in uh, in picking up that health for the thousand points because uh, sometimes these these gals can can cause trouble. Really cautious here because of feckin' no idea how much damage that air. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That green stuff is gonna do to me. A little bit of panic, jump in the corner. And then get volleyed like a football. What's these guys' name? Francis. Ooh, I don't like that. Need a health item. Could be the end, guys. Or will we make a bit of a glorious comeback? I want that star, but I'm waiting for the green blue to go away. Nobi graffiti in the background there, is it? I went straight for the food and lost out on the money. Wasn't gonna risk going back uh, past that green thing. I think this is a, a tag team effort of mini bosses here. Yep, there's Big Ben. Big Ben and Kubo the Cyborg. Not as difficult as they used to be, or at least I remember back in the day the, uh, the 
heavy set. Fire breathing boils cause me trouble. At this point I had no idea who the boss was going to be in this level. I just had a complete brain fart and then I noticed the uh, coming into the bar area and I knew I was in trouble. These wee lasses can be troublesome. Yeah, particularly if they're off screen and then you just come in and loaf you from afar. Rocket loaf. Tend to try and pick them off one by one. Tempt them into doing that um, that headbutt and then catch them a bit after, you know? But yeah, very similar to um, John Bundy, I don't use the um, the defensive moves at all. Um, ordinarily even. Um, you could say you probably wouldn't risk using them in this uh, high score thing because if you the risk reward uh, element, uh, you could if you do get hit. Obviously on hard mode I, I assume they'll hit you that little bit harder, you know, so it probably makes more sense just to be uh, cautious. But I tend just to kind of play the games the way I used to uh, back in the day. So an awful lot of the new, the, the newer elements like that, uh, I tend to forget about. I just stick to the, the old traditional uh, strategies, so to speak. Punch and move, kick and move, a few jump kicks every now and again. <laughs> a ground upper for good measure. Oh, good old karma and honey. Need the honey for the bees. They work hard for our honey. I think I accidentally um, broke the. The arcade machine. Unfortunately. I think I accidentally threw something at it and broke it. Because uh, there is another mini boss uh, in this section. Can't re quite recall who it is. I think it's the wrestler. Kind of ultimate more warrior looking um, mini boss. But not 100%. Now here we go. Freddie Mercury. Barb on himself. It, this guy, even on normal mode, kicked the shit out of me from time to time. So I was rattled, truth be told. I thought this this was definitely going to be the end. And as you can see, I just kind of stuck with my uh, strategy of just <laughs> going in blow for blow. Just going in to, and trying to brawl with him, you know? Which, which wasn't very good, really. I started um, noticing my health was pretty low. And in this boss fight, I remembered that if you destroy the bikes, he will get back up um, in the form of, of those girl bikers. But at this stage, I was getting a little bit desperate because I wanted health, you know? So I decided to try and break a few bikes. Uh, if need be to get help. Now I think what happened there was he went to use his special, it frightened the life out of me and I used mine. <laughs> Special number two, because I'm on low health and didn't know which bike had um, had the health with it. And of course it has to be the one over there that I didn't break. F 
part of health left. That was lucky. Skill. I mean, it was skill, guys. Yeah. All part of the uh, the master plan. I think I trolled a pole at him to finish him off. That's how uh, how easy I found the fight. There you go. Stylish finish or what? <laughs> I was lucky to get out of that one. A rank again. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um you know skate we skate is unlocked. But as I said, this was my game plan that um if I even though I could not get those S ranks like other people will. Um, I kind of said if I got further than them, there was a chance I'd, I'd tally up a higher score, you know? So this is where I messed up. You'll see in a little bit into this level, because um, it's 40 minutes into the video now. I started worrying, I lost track of time, so I didn't want the video to cut off and me not know about it. So I think here I pause it. So this is the mess up, so officially captured if you're watching buddy. Um, you can stop my score there if I broke any rules or messed anything up. Because when I came back I played a little bit, maybe two, two, two minutes or so into the level and I realised I wasn't recording again. Um, and that's why it just pops uh, to this spot, you know. So I've no bother whatsoever if you want to um, call time on my uh, my score back then, back there when I paused it. Now, of course, um, you may have noticed that there's no um, turkeys or chicken health items in there uh, in my game, you know. Um, animal friendly options all the way uh, I was delighted to find out that they actually put um, all sorts of plant based uh, health items in the mix that you can change in the uh, in the options menu it was a really nice touch uh, I uploaded a, a wee video on that last year um, when I figured it out you know I was wondering why these guys weren't uh, yeah, they seem to be having trouble with that table. So, I decided to throw the weapons at them from the corner and, and be safe. Because um, at this stage, I kind of felt that difficulty was kind of picking it up a notch. Um, and a few of these new enemies, like these guys, the kind of kickboxer looking fellows. What's his name? Condor, um, I couldn't remember their moves at all, so I was getting a little bit, a uh, little bit worried. And I start trying to play a safe, pick up weapons, and uh, hit them from a distance, and so on. You know. Poor Dylan. Buddy Kevin. At this stage, I'd I'd remembered that uh, Shiva or Sheva or whatever his name is was the boss of this level, and I was really hoping um, to make it to him because on the uh, I'd read his bio at some stage when I was playing the game last year, and I was impressed uh, after the fall of Mr. X, which was his uh, the syndicate boss in the original game and uh, Streets of Rage 2 as well I think um, and the main bosses in this game are his offspring uh, his son and daughter twins uh, X and Y I believe or 
maybe just boy twins or something. Um, ooh, that was close. But apparently he turned to Buddhism, I believe, <laughs> after Mr. X was uh, slain. Um, and he was planning, so he left the syndicate essentially. Uh, but an awful lot, and so he taught more uh, peaceful martial arts. And he was getting myth because more and more of his um, his students were being sucked into this new uh, syndicate, and he was basically uh, thinking of taking them on himself. So story wise, after you defeat him, he joins you uh, quick enough. But the turning point for him was that he found out that the, uh, the twins were experimenting on uh, animals in their labs. Uh, so that combined with a bit of Buddhism kind of indicates that uh, it was Shiva, if that is his name. Um, may have been an animal rights man or an animal lover. So he, he obviously went up in my books. So I was really hoping to to reach him in this level. These enemies are usually easy enough, but it was just the amount of them that threw me. <laughs> so I decided to play it safe and just try and bash them away with the weapon. Um, I did remember, even on normal mode, that when they pick up that glaive, um, or halibut, or wherever it may be, that they're doing their knife animation, but they can hit you from so far away with it. And if I remember, it does a good bit of damage, I'll probably get hit at yeah, some stage in, in this level with it. But so, as soon as they picked anything up, I'm, I'm jump kicking like crazy. Safe with the knowledge that um, these guys can't overcut me. I hope. I didn't like the look of this at all. Uh, these guys armed. <laughs> so I took the safe strategy again. And as soon as my weapon broke, I wanted another one. So. believe in an officially captured vid uh, video for this, the, just describing the rules, I think it was a, um, a Donovan that um, smashed him in the head with a pole, although he was just there. Uh, and here we go, panic stations. Two specials to take out a handful of Donovans. Hoping that there was health in that item, or in that box or whatever, but there wasn't. Pick up the magic sword. Now. This is the end, my only friend. The end. Boom. Wipe out. That's me gone, guys. I was tempted by the apple and failed miserably. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Slana Volia.